Are you ready to unlock the secrets of building wealth? Dive into the wisdom of the world's most successful investor, Warren Buffett. Discover his six golden lessons to amass wealth, from the importance of starting early to the surprising truth about diversification. You won't believe what Lesson 6 reveals. Let's dive right in. Lesson 1. Start Early The importance of starting your investment journey early cannot be overstated. Why? Two words, compound interest. Imagine compound interest as a snowball rolling down a hill. The further it rolls, the larger it becomes, collecting more snow with each turn. Warren Buffett bought his first stock at the age of 11. No, you didn't hear that wrong, 11 years old. He understood that time was his biggest ally. Think of it this way, if you invest $100 with a 7% annual return in 10 years, that would become about 196 bucks. But in 40 years, that $100 turns into roughly $1,500, even without adding any more money to it. Sure, you may not be 11 anymore, but don't let that discourage you. Whether you're 21, 31, or even 51, the best time to start investing is now. Each year you delay can be a year of lost compounding power. Key takeaway, begin your investment journey as soon as you can, even if you're starting with a small amount. Every day you wait is a missed opportunity for your investments to grow and for you to leverage the power of compound interest. Lesson two, understand your investments. Warren Buffett is a strong advocate for investing within your circle of competence, which means sticking to industries or sectors that you understand well. This strategy is more than just playing it safe. It gives you a competitive edge because you can better evaluate a company's potential and risks. What exactly is this circle? Well, it's essentially your area of expertise and understanding. If you've spent years in healthcare, for example, you'd be better equipped to evaluate a biotech startup than someone with no background in the field. Venturing outside your circle, especially into trendy or hyped sectors, can expose you to risks that you may not even be aware of. Buffett himself avoids industries he doesn't fully understand, like cryptocurrencies, precisely for this reason. How can you put this into practice? Start by identifying the industries you know well and focus on those. Study the companies within these industries. How much money do they make? What risks do they face? What's their competitive advantage? Your aim is to get a comprehensive understanding of the business before investing. Key takeaway, investing isn't just about hoping for the best. It's about making informed decisions based on a deep understanding of the companies you're investing in. Stick to areas you know well, and if a company or sector falls outside your circle of competence, it might be best to steer clear. This disciplined approach is essential for long-term investment success. Lesson three, be frugal. Despite his immense wealth, Buffett is known for his frugal lifestyle. He still lives in the same house he bought in 1958 for $31,500. Being frugal allows you to save more, and the more you save, the more you can invest. Key takeaway, live below your means and channel the excess into investments. Lesson four, reinvest dividends. One of the engines of Buffett's success has been the reinvestment of dividends. Instead of taking the cash out, he typically reinvests dividends to purchase more shares, thereby accelerating the compound growth of his investments. Key takeaway, when you receive dividends, consider reinvesting them to take advantage of compound growth over time. Lesson five, be patient. Buffett is a long-term investor. His famous saying, our favorite holding period is forever, shows that he believes in holding on to good companies instead of trading frequently. The stock market is a tool for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. Key takeaway, invest for the long term and avoid the temptation to trade frequently based on market news or speculation. Lesson six, diversification isn't always key. 
One of the more controversial aspects of Warren Buffett's investment strategy is his view on diversification. While most financial advisors will tell you to diversify your portfolio as a safety net against market volatility, Buffett takes a different stance. He has often been quoted saying, diversification is protection against ignorance. But what exactly does he mean by this? In a nutshell, Buffett believes that if you've done your homework, researched the company's fundamentals, understood its business model, and have a strong conviction in its long-term prospects, then you don't need to hide behind the safety net of diversification. In fact, Buffett's own portfolio at Berkshire Hathaway often holds a concentrated number of stocks in companies he deeply believes in, like Apple, Coca-Cola, and American Express. He doesn't diversify for the sake of diversification. He invests heavily in what he knows best. Now, it's crucial to note that this strategy does come with its higher risks, as a significant downturn in one of your few investments can have a more pronounced impact on your overall portfolio. However, the potential rewards are also higher. If one of your well-researched, carefully selected stocks takes off, it can significantly boost your overall returns. However, this strategy is not for everyone. It requires a lot of time, effort, and expertise to deeply understand the companies that you're investing in. So, if you can't devote the necessary time or lack the expertise, diversification is still a safer strategy. Key Takeaway while diversification is usually a sound approach for most investors, especially those who are new to the market, a more concentrated portfolio can yield higher returns if, and it's a big if, you're willing to put in the extensive work required to deeply understand and monitor your chosen companies. So, Warren Buffett's investment philosophy isn't just for the elite. It's a set of practical, down-to-earth principles that anyone can use to build wealth over time. By starting early, understanding your investments, living frugally, being patient, and reinvesting your dividends, you too can set yourself on a path to financial freedom. That's a wrap for today's episode, fellow investors. If you found Warren Buffett's wealth-building wisdom as enlightening as we did, don't hesitate to hit that like button and share this video with your network. Make sure to subscribe to the Investor's Compass for more deep dives into the world of finance, business, and wealth creation strategies. Until our next journey, keep your eyes on the prize and your hands on the levers of financial growth.